Hey guys, in most cities and towns in Japan, you'll usually be within walking distance or maybe bicycling distance to a community center like this one. So usually they're provided by the city, sometimes by local community groups, and then usually maintained by a committee of local people. So they come in various forms. Showed you the oldest one first. This is sort of more of a, a newer version. So they use them for all sorts of stuff. They use them just for just for people getting together. Uh, sometimes they use them for festivals. They use them for all sorts of classes, lots of uh, traditional things, ikebana and, and shodo and all sorts of things. Um, and then modern sort of stuff too, you know, they might have old people's yoga or something. They don't call it old people's yoga. <laughs> they call it something more polite than that. But just sort of really just a handy space, a handy community space that's used for all sorts of things. So usually older people spend spend more time there than younger people, but sometimes they have young people stuff as well. They might have ballet classes or something. Here's a brand new one. And that big garage there is for Dashi, is for the for the floats from the festival that we showed you on previous videos. So that's often, that's common as well. The older ones will often have big old garages like that with the Dashi stored. So just a really handy space, just a really handy space. Sometimes they have ballet classes for kids or dance classes for kids or cool things like uh, taiko, taiko drum classes for kids and, and traditional stuff like that, shamisen and, and all sorts of traditional stuff as well. So a really good way. It maintains community connection. It maintains uh, traditional cultural type skills and also used for modern sort of stuff as well. So just a really useful space is the community centre. Bit of snow falling on that one. That was a cold day. So yeah, the community centre. If you spend some time in Japan, you're bound to experience one of those, particularly around festival time. They're a centre of attention around festival time. Anyway, there it was. More videos coming soon.